I'm filming this while we're in lockdown with COVID-19, the coronavirus that's keeping everybody inside. So although I've got this crazy idea and I want to implement it as soon as possible, I'm just not going to be able to do it. I've got to wait until this dreaded virus is all cleared up and we can go back out into the world. I'm sitting in my car. Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. Now I have a quest for England and I want to get out and I want to see a lot of England. I want to explore the place. And when this coronavirus is gone, which at some point, some people may watch this video and realize, oh, I don't know what he's talking about. That's all, that was in the past. But at the moment, as I record this, it's in the present and we are all locked down. And for those people who are just a bit worried, I am in my car outside the back of my house, just so you know. Anyway, I've come up with an idea. For a while now, I've been trying to work out how is the best way to get around the countryside without having to the extortionate costs of Airbnbs. And of course, a camper van would be the perfect solution or a tent. But I don't have the money at the moment to go and buy a camper van and a tent might be OK. It's just I do need to um, charge up my laptop and my batteries for the camera and my equipment when I'm out filming. And if this is going to take all through the spring and the summer, tent might mean that I'll get cold at night and it's not very secure. So I've got another idea. I've been thinking about my car. You see, I have worked out that I can fold down the two seats at the back. There's three seats across, but two of them come down. And if I put a sheet of wood down here, I can actually sleep in the car, put a little mattress on, on which I get on top of, and a sleeping bag or a duvet or some such thing. And I could turn my car into a camper car, into the Bald Explorer camper car. And actually, I can. I can stretch out. And it's quite comfy, even on this bit of wood. Yeah, it's clever. You see, a car is the perfect thing. Because not only could I sleep in it, but actually you can take it all over the place pretty much. More than perhaps a camper van or a, a van or a caravan. Perhaps not quite as many places as a tent, but at least you can lock it and secure it and it, it blends in to any other car. Except, of course, mine's got a bit of a logo on the back, but that aside, you could sort of park it up pretty much anywhere on a quiet road that nobody's looking and just discreetly doze off in the evenings. I know there's a few more practicals to think about, but uh, that's essence, in essence, the concept. Is that the brake? Better not turn that off. Oh yeah, car's rolling down the hill. But in essence, you've got to agree, it's a good idea. As long as the police don't catch me. No, seriously, I've got to think about um, all the practicalities and there's lots to think about. And I dare say there are people watching this who've done this sort of thing many, many times or people who've been going in a camper van who will be able to help me. And I will need as much help as you can give me for ideas and suggestions for things to make this work. Sorry, I'm in lockdown. I forgot. Mustn't go outside. At least not unnecessarily. So, yeah, I'm going to need your help. So as you can see, there's lots of practical places to film from 
when out and about, you know, if it's pouring of rain and I need to do a report to camera, or a piece to camera as they call it, then I can do that quite easily. I've got protection. My car's got this sunroof. It doesn't actually open, but it, it slides back to let more light in, which is very handy. There's space to sleep. I can actually stretch myself out quite easily. I can sit up like this. I can sit in the chair. Um, just, look, I'll get my legs down there like this and that all works and this end just goes over the footwell which um, which means that my head doesn't disappear over the this is the back seat here the back seat this is the boot area and my feet my head can go over the footwell I could go the other way around but there's a slight slope that way which will make all the blood run to my head and I'll die in a horrible agonizing death and we don't want that um, so, that's all good. It's quite fun, actually. You sort of, this weird thing about being in an enclosed environment, which of course, if it's too hot, I can actually open the window. I can actually open the window. Uh, let some air in. I can actually do that. Um, but yeah, it is a quite, it's a, it's a weird thing because, um, Immediately you start to think uh, you've got a bit of privacy, a bit of security, you can lock all the doors. Now, so I would only put this down at night time. The rest of the time, of course, I could work in here with my laptop, however I want to do it. I could sit here, edit away, videos, got the window open. I can cook, probably wouldn't cook in here, but I could cook outside, wherever I've discreetly parked up. Um, the things I need to think about. Toilet for one. Now, I'm a bloke, so, you know, down a discreet place. One has a distinct advantage being a man. But there's also um, a thing that most men and women share that they have to do, perhaps once a day at the very least. Now, that's not so easy, just squatting around somehow. But I gather that there are little tiny portable loos that you can do. So that would be quite easy. Um, I do have an immersion hob, but that's no good because that needs to be plugged into the mains. I have um, a Calagas stove, so that's one thing. Perhaps a table, a little tiny table. Although I probably actually would only need A-frames because this bit of wood I'm sitting on could act as the table. So that way I don't have to carry two things, you see. Although when I'm sitting on it like this, it's quite useful to have it all spread out. So maybe a small table. Um, possibly I need some solar panels. Yeah, they'd be good. And now I've, I've seen some um, that are about, I don't know, about this big. They can clamp to your roof so we could clamp them up when having lunch, I'd say, you know, for a couple of hours, charge up batteries, laptop and all that sort of stuff. Perhaps that would be a good time to work, especially as we're getting into longer hours, although going towards the autumn, shorter hours. Let's hope that I can get out this year. And then, of course, there's some blinds that would be useful around the car so that if you are parked up there and somebody walks past and you're having a doze, nobody can look in. They'd also be useful just to hide all the stuff, um, which I thought I might bung in big plastic boxes and then I can keep them on one side of the car when I'm sleeping, but the rest of the time they can come back. And if they all fitted into the boot area, I could keep them covered up and nobody would see them. It would only be the gas cylinder maybe that would be seen. But I'm thinking of a smallish gas one, not a tiny, tiny one, but a, an intermediate. I don't know what they are, about 11 or 9 killer things. I've got one, but it's 19. That's a bit big. Yeah. Um, what else do I need? Let me think. Obviously, I'm going to need things like Wi-Fi. Sorry about the wobbly camera. Uh, Wi-Fi, well, I can take that on my phone. Um, I've got 4G and presumably when 5G comes out, one will have to get that. Um, what else do I need? Food, water, clothes. Again, they'll fit into some big bo plastic boxes, storage containers. That will be ideal. Maps. Um, all of that sort of thing. Walking boots, obviously, I'll have with me the same sort of stuff that I would normally take. 
Um, yeah. Water. Water will be an issue. But then I suppose water can be carried again in a in a big plastic container and fill it up before I go. I would only be going perhaps one night, two nights. I'm not thinking that I would stay several days in the same place. Um, washing is a, an issue that one would probably have to do some sort of wet wash in a bowl. Um, that could be all right. Do that first thing in the morning. It should be fun. It really should. So, if it rains and I want to cook, I can always shelter underneath that. Obviously, you need to be a bit agile to do this, but that's all right, I'm quite flexible. So, I've got my hat if it's, uh, if it's cold. Don't be silly. So, yeah. I'm pretty much all geared to go, but I'm de I dare say there's lots of things I've not thought of, and I dare say that some of you will have some suggestions for me. And if you've done it before, I'd love to know. So do send me a link to any photos, pictures, and that sort of thing that you've done, and what arrangements you've made to make a car into a portable hotel. It'll be great fun. Do let me know. Just need a blanket now and I can go to sleep. Thanks very much for watching. Um, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what I do and, and let me know any advice that you've got. Thanks for watching. Night night. Camper car. Camper car. <laughs> Lovely.